The Alchemist Santiago, a shepherd, continues to have a recurring dream every time he sleeps under a sycamore tree planted where a church once was. During the dream, he is told by a child to seek the treasure of the Egyptian pyramids. Santiago asks a gypsy woman what this means, and she tells him to go to Egypt. A strange magical man, Melchizedek, also tells him to go. Melchizedek convinces Santiago to sell his flock and go to Tangier. Santiago arrives in Tangier and gets robbed. Forced to work, he gets a job for a local crystal merchant. Santiago learns a lot from the merchant, and he also convinces him to take more risks in business. The risks pay off, and Santiago becomes a rich man in just a year. Santiago then leaves the merchant in pursuit of his personal legend to find the treasure. He joins a caravan across the desert and meets an Englishman who is studying alchemy. He learns the secret to alchemy is written on a stone called the Emerald Tablet. The ultimate creation of alchemy is the masterwork, which consists of the Philosopher's Stone and the Elixir of Life. The first turns lead to gold and the other cures all ills. The Englishman is going to the oasis of al Fayum to meet a 200-year-old alchemist. To avoid tribal wars, the entire caravan is forced to make an extended stay at the oasis. At the oasis, Santiago falls in love with Fatima, a local. One day, on a walk in the desert, Santiago has a vision of an attack on the oasis. He goes back and warns the tribal chieftains, and as a result, they are able to successfully defend themselves from the attack. The alchemist hears of Santiago's vision and tells him to always listen to his heart. He then tells Santiago that he must leave Fatima and find the caravan to fulfill his personal legend and that he will accompany him on the trip. Just three days before they are to arrive at the pyramids, they are captured by a tribe of Arab soldiers. The alchemist gives all of Santiago's money over to the soldiers and says that in three days, Santiago will turn into wind and disappear. Santiago is very confused because he doesn't know how to turn into wind. For the next three days, he meditates in the desert, and on the third day, he communicates with the wind and sun and creates a massive sandstorm. In the middle of the sandstorm, he disappears and then reappears on the other side of the tribe. In awe, the soldiers release them. Santiago and the alchemist continue on, and when they get just a few hours from the pyramids, the alchemist shows Santiago how he turns lead to gold. He gives him some gold for the rest of his journey. Santiago continues the rest of the journey himself and shortly after arrives at the pyramids. He goes to the base of them and begins digging. However, two men try to rob him. Santiago tells them about his dream and why he is there. One of the men tells him dreams are stupid and don't mean anything. He then explains how he had a crazy dream that there was a buried treasure under a sycamore tree in Spain. Santiago realizes that it was his tree at home and he must return home. Santiago returns home and finds a chest of jewels and gold buried under the tree. He makes plans to go back to the oasis and reunite with Fatima.